Mr. Rush by Roger Hargreaves Read by Chris Rush For Kaylee, a.k.a. Thomas Number One Fan 2003 Mr. Rush was the fastest thing on two legs. He used to rush hither and thither and thither and hither and back again all the time. And of course, he was always in such a rush that he never, ever finished anything properly. One morning, he woke up with a jump. He'd only had time for three hours sleep because he'd been rushing about for so long the day before. Oh dear, he cried, leaping out of bed. I'm late. And he rushed into his bathroom and washed, hmm, not very well, as he was in such a hurry, and cleaned one tooth, and rushed downstairs three at a time. Mr. Rush had a boiled egg and toast and a cup of tea for breakfast. He boiled the egg for five seconds, and it tasted awful. He toasted the bread for one second, and so it wasn't brown at all. And as he couldn't bear to wait for the kettle to boil, he made his tea with cold water. Ugh! What a horrid breakfast! And of course, he was in such a rush, he only ate half of it. Rush, rush, rush. <laughs> Silly fellow. After his half a breakfast, he rushed off again. Out of his front door, leaving it open, down his garden path, out of his garden gate, leaving it open too, and off down the lane. He passed Mr. Happy. Hello, called Mr. Happy. Good morning, Mr. Rush. Where are you off to? Can't stop, cried Mr. Rush. I'm in much too much of a hurry. I can see that, thought Mr. Happy to himself, as he watched Mr. Rush disappear into the distance. I wonder where he's going. Where Mr. Rush is going was nowhere, fast as usual. Mr. Rush rushed around all morning and then rushed home and had a quick bite to eat, a sandwich without bread, and then rushed off again and rushed around all afternoon. That evening, he was reading a magazine. He never had time to read a book when he saw an advertisement for holiday. Ooh, he said, I'd like that. I haven't had a holiday for ages. But then his face fell. I can't go on holiday, he thought because I don't have any money. And then he thought again, and his face rose. I know, he thought, I'll get a job. And so, the following morning, he rushed off and got a job, with a farmer milking cows. But of course he wasn't any good at that, because if there's one thing a car can't stand, it's being rushed, especially when it's been milked. So Mr. Rush rushed off and got himself another job driving a bus. But of course he wasn't any good at that because 
he was always in such a rush. He never stopped at any of the bus stops. And if there's one thing people waiting at a bus stop don't like, it's when the bus doesn't stop for them. So Mr. Rush rushed off and got himself another job as a waiter in the hotel. But of course, he wasn't any good at that, because no sooner had he served people a meal and they'd taken one bite, then he whisked the plate away from under their noses. And if there's one thing hungry people can't stand, it's having food whisked away from them. Poor Mr. Rush. No job. No money. Oh dear, he sighed to himself. I'm never going to be able to go on holiday. He looked very glum and gloomy. But then an idea struck him. An idea for a job for someone who rushes round all the time. An ideal job for someone who's the fastest thing on two legs. Do you know what that job was? Would you like to know what that job was? Postman. Delivering express letters. Mr. Rush was so good at it. He delivered twice as many letters in half the time any postman had ever done it before. Soon he had saved enough money for that holiday of his. And so the very next week there was Mr. Rush sitting on a beach in the hot sunshine under a palm tree on holiday. This is the life, he grinned, and rushed off for a swim. His fifteenth that day, and then it was breakfast time. The End I hope you've enjoyed these books, Kaylee. They're based on a television series narrated by Arthur Lowe, but to tell the truth, he died. If you want to find the books and television series of the Mr. Man, find them in eBay. Then you can have a turn of reading them.